Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to an incredibly small car boot haul. This haul is from Sunday the 20, 20 blah, 27th of March, which was Mother's Day. And I don't know if that is what affected the car boot sale because we have had some gorgeous weather and I was fully expecting to rock up at Sunday's car boot sale and find a lot of the sellers that I like. Now, I like my regular traders who turn up with house clearances and stuff like that. But my target market seller-wise, is that a market? Anyway, is amateurs. And by that, I mean not people who do a car boot every weekend and put the stuff back in their garage and trot it out the following weekend, but people who have just had a declutter, just had a sort out. They do maybe one, two car boots a year. They just want to make a few quid. They want to get rid of their stuff. They don't care what they sell it for. The regular traders are happy to wait until next week to sell their item. They don't want to drop their prices because somebody will buy it next week at that price and that's absolutely fair enough. Whereas your occasional amateur car booters, excuse my phone, your occasional amateur car booters want, don't want to take it home. You know, we're out, we want to get it done, we want to, and so they are much more flexible price-wise. So I expected to rock up on Sunday after this gorgeous week's weather and find the place absolutely rammed. I think Mother's Day may have been the reason it wasn't. In fact, it was the opposite. It was it was much emptier than usual. Far fewer sellers. Much less choice on of on available. Of, uh, bleh, bleh. Much less stock available. And on top of that, I was late. Why was I late? Well, the clocks went forward. I knew they were going forward. Josh and I discussed the fact they were going forward. I'd seen him the day before, and he'd said to me, "Don't forget the clocks go forward." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm on that. I know it." Somehow, in in the eight hours that, that passed, I did forget. I woke up the next morning. I woke up really early. woke up at quarter to six on my clock. And I was like, oh, it's far too early to get up yet. I don't need to be there till eight. I told Josh I'd meet in there at eight. Don't need to be there till eight. No rush. No rush. No rush. Killed time for nearly two hours. Read my book. Potted about. Thought, oh, still too early to leave. Went to leave at eight o'clock. Or what I thought was eight o'clock. Got in the car. Car says nine o'clock because the car updates automatically. My phone updates automatically as well, but I hadn't looked at my phone. I'd only looked at the clocks in the house. So I was actually running an hour late. Josh had that, at that point, Josh rang me and went, where the hell are you? And I was like, I forgot the clocks after all. So I was running an hour late, which meant that in a way, sorry, that's Kaiki poddling around underneath me. In a way, it was good that the car boot was lesser because it didn't take me long to fly around. <laughs> I did get a few bits. Got my bag ready to chuck them into. Let me show you what I picked up. I paid 50p each for these two. Oh, ding. I paid 50p each for these two items. The first is a Kath Kidston spatula. Kitchen spatula, it's got Kath Kidston on the handle there. I doubt that that's gonna focus enough for you to read it. You'll just have to believe me. 50p for that one and 50p for this mug. Quite an unusual mug. It is America the Beautiful by Warren Kimball and it's a Sakura mug and these sell fairly well although I haven't seen this exact one. Can't see this exact one on eBay. I have to wait for the camera to catch up now. So I don't know what I might get for that one but certainly more than 50p. And from the same seller this All Achille for Tesco shopping bag. You can buy these, the All Achille designs, you can still buy them in Tesco. I don't know whether this one is still in there, but some of them have sold on eBay for considerably more than what Tesco are charging for them. I'm not sure why, unless they're selling to people who don't have Tesco in their country or something, I don't know. But either way, it was a quid and I thought I'd go for it. I paid a pound for these two mugs. They're very tall, very thin. They're by Crown, Ch Crown Trent China Limited. Try saying that when you're drunk. I just liked them because of the polka dots really. I thought somebody will want those for their polka dot kitchen, I hope. So pound each for those two. This haul is gonna be less than 10 minutes long, by the way, because I'm nearly done already. I paid two pounds, I think. I think it was two pounds. I think she said three and I asked offered her two and she said yes. Anyway, it's a bell cook jigsaw. I love Bevel Cook. I've always loved Bevel Cook's work. I've got um, prints on the wall of hers and stuff like that. Oh, was that a piece? Have I just dropped a piece? Yes, I have. I thought they'd resealed the bag, but they hadn't. So I'm going to pop a bit of tape on that now.
but it is um it's been nicely looked after and the box is in lovely condition again i don't know what i can get for it possibly not very much because you know maybe people don't love bell cut the way as much as i do but i liked it so i bought it these were a pound for the pair this is from a regular trader they are two Roald Dahl audiobooks we've got boy and going solo now these are um these are Roald Dahl's autobiographical books they are not written for children they are the story of his life which is a funny thing because quite often if you go into charity shops you'll find that they have put going solo in with the children's books because they've noticed it's from Roald, by Roald Dahl it's definitely not for children there are parts of his adult life which he talks about which you would not want your small child reading <laughs> so if you spot that in the charity shop do them a favour and move it for them but yeah those were a pound for the two I paid two pounds for Ducula this looks like it might sell for 10 to 15 12 to 15 it is three months for media limited and I think it's from the late 1990s so £2 for him and last but by no means least an Elizabeth Arden green tea gift set now I don't like the fragrance green tea by Elizabeth Arden but this gift set looks like it will sell for £25 plus it's got scent spray which I think is a 50 is that a 50 ml it is a 50 ml that was a good guess Carla well done there's also a tiny little purse version that is tiny that's probably like a 10 mil or something that's so small that I've got no chance of reading the logo but it's about a 10 mil and then there is also a body lotion and a bath and shower gel and yeah that, that should hopefully hopefully that should go for around 25 pound because some people like it even though I don't so uh yeah pleased with that although I can smell it through the box and I don't, it's not a scent I enjoy that's it that was my entire haul like i said i arrived late it wasn't a great car boot anyway i whizzed around a bit sharpish because i felt guilty that we were going to josh's mum's um cafe for breakfast it was ordered for a certain time and there was me running late so um see i didn't do a great big rummage but also as i've said many times recently my death pile has regrown alarmingly so i did not need the stock thank you for joining me for today's video and i'll be back soon take care bye for now mm -hmm.